Hello and welcome to another update video about Edgex. Edgex is one of the AI coins that has performed quite well since it uh, touched the support level down there at 15.7 cents, but then has avoided to show us any deep pullbacks afterwards. This makes it extremely challenging to determine the structure of this move to the upside. Um, extremely challenging because as you can see, it's very much this move up is very much characterized by a lot of overlapping price action. So I haven't really got anything clear with regards to the microstructure. Um, extremely challenging. So best I can give you is a potential ABC structure here where the C wave might be unfolding as some kind of an ending diagonal. I mean, I need a little bit more clarity really to determine what exactly this is. Um, be either way, at the moment, the focus can be on higher as long as the support area is holding. So far, it has been holding. I will adjust it now and it's at 18.8 .8 cents. There's really not another support level I can give you. I mean, you might want to use the B wave low here, which is at 22.6 20, cents. But from a microstructure point of view, there isn't anything clear. There absolutely isn't anything clear. Still, it can move higher. Absolutely. It's just that from a microstructure point of view, um, yeah, we don't really have much much clarity. They were just due to the overlapping price action there and no deep pullbacks that could act as some kind of a landmark on the chart. Literally, um, there's not much we can do from an Elliott wave point of view on the smaller time frames. However, the chart context tells us that as long as the 15.7 cent level is holding, the focus can be on high. And you can see how relevant that level was, right? So from a bullish point of view, I highlighted this as a wave for low. And we said we can focus on higher in the white wave count to rally in wave five as long as we're holding that 15.7 cent level and that hasn't changed at all and um, we are now probably moving in wave one of five and um, yeah we have resistance levels to watch so 32.3 cents is one we've broken that we've got 38.3 cents and we've got 48.9 cents next Above 48.9, the resistances for the bearish case, because there is a bearish case, is only the alternative, therefore it's highlighted here with a question mark. So the resistance levels for the bearish case, um, they will get broken. So that's 48.9 cents. So once we get above that level, it will increase probabilities further for the white wave count. Problem is I can't really give the white wave count too much, um, how, what should we say, uh, too much, um, well, can't assign too you know pro too high probabilities so that doesn't work because we have likely only an abc structure and the move down can be counted as five wave move so it just means we need to be on our toes be a bit careful be a bit cautious about this chart not a great setup okay um best setup will come after the one is complete and then we get a wave two pullback but there's no sign of it at this stage nevertheless i would keep focusing on higher prices at the moment because the white wave count is my primary scenario as long as we're holding the 15.7 cent level there is really not much more to add i can't give you um i can't really give you a clear microstructure there are just too many ways how this could be counted it could be that there is could even be that this is an impulse and there's a small one too hidden down here but it's just not reliable and then um, this is some kind of a wave four and this might be a wave five as an ending diagonal. So therefore I use the 78.6 retrace as key support in case we get that wave two a little earlier. Um, this is the support area, okay? So, but um, from, you know, I can't really give you anything clear at this stage. So that means that's why I focus much more on FET, which is a bit clearer, or VAI. Um, whereas Edgex is just sort of grinding higher, yes, but <laughs> very slowly actually only. You can also add potentially here a trend line. Again, it's not very well defined. That also doesn't really add to, uh, you know, it doesn't give us much more clarity, but um, you might want to track this as an ascending wedge. Oops. At least we have some, some levels and trend lines to watch. Uh, the upper boundary line is quite well defined. So if it pulls back and, you know, we get a break below the, the wedge, then this could be um, the pullback into the support area that I think probably many people are waiting for. That's my update about Edgex. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.